Monday in Major League Baseball brings us an abbreviated slate of games with some on-paper bad matchups, particularly in the L. Over on the NL side, though, there's some fun. Let's get to it, Monday's scores pivoted dominates again for Phillies, woe of the three best teams in the NL opened a three-game series at Citizens Bank Park on Monday night as the Phillies hosted the Braves. Atlanta held a one-and-a-half game lead in the NL East going into the game. Thanks to home runs by Nick Williams, Solo, and Aaron Albert, to run, the Phillies cut the Braves' lead to a half game in the division Monday night. Righty Nick Pivetta did the heavy lifting. He allowed four singles and a walk-in seven scoreless innings. View profile Keep in mind the Braves went into Monday's game leading the National League in runs per game at 5.40, so Pivetta shut down a very good offense. Check out his last three starts. May 9th versus Giants 5,400,070 May 16th versus Orioles 72,111,111 May 21st versus Braves 7,400,170 total 1,910,112,251 pretty, pretty great. Veta, who came over from the Nationals in the Jonathan Papelbon trade, now owns a 3.23 era in a 60-12th K, BB in 53 innings on the season. He's settled in is a very good no. Three starter behind Aaron Nola and Jake Arrieta, and is a big reason why the Phillies are in the running for the NL East title early this season. Soto hits first MLB home run over the weekend. The Nationals called up top prospect Juan Soto to help their injury thinned outfield. Adam Eaton, Hip, Ryan Goodwin, Wrist, and Howie Kendrick, Achilles are all on the disabled list. Soto made his first big league start Monday night, and, on the first pitch of his first at bat, he slugged a three run opposite field home run. Check it out! By no means is that a cheap home run. Making that blast even more impressive is the fact Soto is only 19 years old. He won't turn 20 until October. He's the youngest player to go deep in a big league game in six years. First place matchup, but the Brewers host the Diamondbacks and at first glance it seems exciting. It's two first place teams. The D-backs, though, are in a bad, bad way right now. They have lost 10 of their last 11 games and 13 of their last 17. That 21-8 start seems a distant memory, on the flip side, the Brewers come in with an 11-6 record in May, fresh off an excellent 7-3 road trip, this appears to be two teams heading in totally different directions. Things can spin on a diamond baseball, though, so stay tuned, can Dodgers stay hot, the Dodgers hit rock bottom last week. They were already off to a disappointing start, but then they lost 9 of 10 games, mostly to the lowly Padres, Reds and Marlins. Again, rock bottom. Since then, though, the Dodgers have now strung together four straight wins, including a sweep of the Nationals. Justin Turner is back doing his thing in the middle of the order and the team just feels different, all of a sudden. Thanks in part to the aforementioned Diamondbacks struggles, the Dodgers are only five games out, too. It's workable, Monday, the Dodgers host the Rockies, who are in the middle of a nine-game road trip. They are 3-3 so far. The Rockies overall have been very good away from Coors Field, sporting an 18-11 road record. They'll try to flex their road muscles and cool the all of a sudden hot Dodgers. Quick hits the Mets reportedly have interest in UTL Jose Bautista, who was released by the Braves over the weekend. The Mets are with out of Yoenis Cespedes, flexor, and of Juan Lagares, toe, and are looking to add depth. 
Dodgers LHP Rich Hill plans to ask MLB for permission to pitch with tape on his fingers due to his ongoing blister problems. It seems unlikely MLB will grant it. Hill is on the disabled list with yet another blister and is expected to miss four weeks. Red Sox 2B Dustin Pedroia will play in two more minor league rehab games this week before being re-evaluated, reports MLB.com. Pedroia has not played this season following off-season knee surgery. The Brewers have activated RHP Chase Anderson from the disabled list and optioned RHP Freddy Peralta back to the minors, the team announced. Anderson had been sidelined with an illness. The Nationals have placed RHP Ryan Madsen on the 10-day DL with a pectoral strain, the team announced. LHP Tim Collins has been added to the big league roster as a corresponding move. Cardinals RHP Adam Wainwright underwent exploratory surgery on his elbow, reports MLB.com. He was placed on the 60-day DL with elbow discomfort recently and is not eligible to return until July. 1B Joe Maurer is doing a little better, Twins manager Paul Molitor told MLB.com. He is currently on the disabled list with a concussion and is receiving treatment. The team will be cautious with Maurer given his concussion history. Phillies RHP Pat Neshek played catch on flat ground Monday, reports The Athletic. He is out with forearm and shoulder problems. Neshek is in the early stages of his rehab work and isn't close to rejoining the team. The Yankees have moved the rehab assignments of 1B Greg Bird and a Billy McKinney to AAA, the team announced. Bird has been out all season with ankle surgery and could return later this week. McKinney has a shoulder injury. The Athletics have activated Seabrews Maxwell from the restricted list, the team announced. Maxwell was unable to join the team in Toronto due to ongoing legal problems. C. Dustin Garneau was designated for assignment in a corresponding move. The Astros have released 1B John Singleton, the team announced. Singleton rather notably signed a five-year deal worth $10 million before making his MLB debut. He is currently serving a 100-game suspension for a failed drug test. Live team updates a Twitter list by Dane Perry.